Bank Nifty should have not come below 43,500 and I am sure it is headed towards 41,500. Nifty should have not come below 19,200 and I am sure we are going to below go 19,000 and uh, Sensex should have not come below 65,000 and I am sure we might be heading towards 64,000 or 62,000 levels. And do you think this is all going to happen, right? Uh, I have been saying, you, people are saying I am negative and I talk negative and there are lots of uh, negativity in me i don't think so i've been earning money is consistently in the stock market the last 10 years i've made loss only two years right so that's a whole different thing now people are talking about recession people are talking about uh, mortgage uh, housing mortgage in us uh, lots of things are happening around and i don't think nothing is going to happen right and even if there is a recession even there is highly inflated uh, market in our uh, in our terms in our perspective or in our Indian market, uh, I don't think this government, right? This government and our uh, honorable prime minister or our honorable uh, finance minister will come out and say they are they, we are uh, in the safe line or we are in the safe hands. That is what is going to happen, right? This is Umar with you and welcome back to the channel. Hope you are all doing great. Let us see what is happening in terms of market, what is happening in terms of Nifty, Bank Nifty, Sensex and uh, uh, whole, uh, in whole about the market. Let's see what is going to happen about the market. There is uh, lots of events coming up like uh, the Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell is going to talk tonight around uh, 2, uh, uh, 2 a.m. Uh, which is India time 2 a.m. which is going to be early morning in US. So he is going to talk about uh, interest rate hike and I'm sure uh, Federal Reserve is going to increase the federal uh, federal rate this uh, sorry not federal rate uh, interest rate this time also they are giving kind of indication and let and let me tell you in spite of if you see the Dow Jones Dow Jones has been is at the lowest point for the last six months and the Nasdaq is at the lowest point for the last six months but it is only our market it is only our market which is sustained and which is resilient and doesn't want to come down that is why I'm always saying this market is propaganda this market is run by propaganda media they want everything they don't tell what is right or what is wrong and they are not see it's not black and white here we have lots of gray area in terms of our Indian market and that is what is happening so it's a whole different thing we'll discuss that those things in another video for now we will focus on what is happening to our markets or what is happening to uh, our trades what might happen to our trades is our main goal right so let me go directly jump directly into the charts and uh, this is the use for futures for your information as you can see apart from Dow Jones S&P Nasdaq everything is down and even European market is down and I have been saying that there is a formation of head and shoulder pattern this is the bank nifty chart and you can see that uh, it should have not gone below 43,000 uh, 43,500 but it is very unfortunate we have closed even below 43,000 so what does that mean every Tom Dick and Harry in this market is shorting the market right they are selling call option or they are buying put option and where we might go 41,000 all I say is next support level is at around 41,500 so we might touch 41,500 when we will touch maybe tomorrow maybe day after tomorrow or even maybe uh, after one week or 10 days who knows right only God knows when we are going to touch 41,500 or who knows we can reverse and even touch 46,500 level which is going to be a lifetime high in bank nifty but I don't think that is uh, bank nifty touching lifetime high is a very very remote uh, situation or remote scenario it is not going to happen anytime soon so it is going to take time right so I have been saying there is a head and shoulder pattern in this uh, chart and you can see it clearly so this is a uh, this is a double uh, double uh, whatsoever double top right a double top or let's assume head and shoulder pattern this is the left shoulder this is this is the left shoulder and this is a uh, head and maybe this is the right shoulder and we are going towards 41000 uh, 
500 or 41,500 uh, levels is what I expect in Bank Nifty. So I've been saying that you can short the market, you can sell some call option and you will make money. But uh, what I was thinking is I was uh, believing I was thinking that the market will come on the downside. But don't get me wrong. Let me tell you very clearly. I am not a bearish guy. I don't. I am not always negative. Yeah, I am just telling the facts here, right? But I don't think the market is going to crash. I don't think the market is going to have a correction like what we are seeing in the U.S. market or in the European market or in the Asia Pacific market. We might come down little bit more but we are not going to correct as much as what is happening in the global market so this is in terms of a bank nifty and in terms of nifty uh, let me go to the nifty chart and this is the nifty chart and you can see we should have uh, 19,300 is a very very strong support uh, which is which has been breached decisively and there is a big green uh, sorry not green red candle so this red uh, to this red candle right so this red candle in order for the bulls to take this red candle we really need a very very positive news which we are lacking there is no positive news right in terms of uh, weather market or in terms of uh, inflation data or in terms of anything there is no good news at all so we need a really really positive news for nifty to take this big red candle which is not going to happen anytime soon so what is going to be the next thing maybe probably tomorrow we will touch 19,000 or we will go below 19,000 19,000 is a very very stiff support we may bounce back from 19,000 but for now I can say we are bearish and we will continue to sell some call option so this is in terms of nifty and in terms of sensex sensex is one of the worst performing I wouldn't say worst performing it is also showing a head and shoulder pattern and I've been saying this for a very very long time 65k it should it should have not uh, uh, broken 65,000 but it is very unfortunate it has broken 64,000 and it is almost in verge of breaking 64,000 so it might go below 64,000 but I believe 63,500 is a very very strong support in terms of uh, uh, sensex so we'll see how things pan out and uh, open interest i don't have to tell open interest everybody every tom dick and harry is selling huge call options in both nifty and bank nifty and fia data is a lagging data i don't want to talk about uh, fia data and you can see here 43000 43000 is a very very strong resistance now around 7.69 lakhs of calls outstanding at 43,000 which means people believe that market or bank nifty might not go above 43,500 so that's what I told 43,500 is a very very strong uh, support it was a support it should have been held but uh, markets are very bad uh, like they we are having very bad sentiment and they don't want to go below uh, they are uh, they, uh, they don't want to uh, they have taken below below 43500 and as i told you 19200 is a very very was a very very strong support at nifty which has been decisively taken and you can see huge number of calls being written at 19300 so this is how the markets are reacting so you can understand what is happening or what might happen or what you should be doing and of course uh, maybe if you are uh, selling some calls or maybe you want to sell you can do a credit spread above 43500 and you can in bank nifty and you can do a credit spread on uh, 19500 in nifty so that you can make money even if the market comes on the higher side it is really not going to help us right it is maybe india wix will uh, come down if the market comes on the higher side still you will be having some buffer and still you might be able to make some money right so this is how the markets are and as i told you today night uh, around 2 5 am india time jerome powell is going to come out and give a speech 
and after that we have a gdp growth rate year on year and uh, durable goods uh, uh, goods uh, month on month is going to be uh, out in the us uh, we don't care about the indian market that's why i told we are just manipulated we are just uh, you know dancing dolls uh, <laughs> we are all concerned about the global market only so us markets uh, federal reserve chairman jerome powell will come out and he is going to give some indication whether they are going to increase the interest rate or they are not going to increase the interest rate or he may give some proxy or he may give some indication whether they are increasing or not so uh, so that's going to be a very very important event after which we will see the dow's reaction right so you see uh, they are just coming out and telling at the last minute of us market close so that is very very significant right they are also starting to be very careful and they are also very cautious they don't want the market to close and that is what is happening in terms of us market so we'll see how uh, market span out tomorrow is uh, nifty and bank nifty expiry uh, let's uh, see how uh, things work out i'll see you in at another video till then take care bye